Nicholas Chibano here, and today we're coming live in East Sacramento at Sacktown Union Brewing. I'm here for their first ever Something Wicked IPA brew. So grab a pint and bring your curiosity. If there's few things I've learned from traveling the world, people enjoy their alcohol, love their beer, and are absolutely fanatical about microcraft brew. This is my gift to you. Brewing curiosity through a pint glass. One brewery, beer festival, growler and interview at a time. And besides, life is so much better when you drink good beer. So cheers. This episode of Brew Talk is brought to you by IPS Printing Incorporated. For all your business cards, posters, and printing needs, go to IPSprints.com. Mention Brew Talk and get 10% off your first order. Measuring out the hot. We have them for each, each hop edition. We have them ready. I'd like to get them measured out and marked well in advance. With no question. 31.8. In your own words, the fine craft beer. Wow. A lot of good beer to make good wine. It takes a lot of coffee to make good beer. <laughs> the secret hop. Yes, sir. What hop is that? We're sitting here tapping. We're sitting in the tavern. We're sitting in the tavern. It is real. Find it, right? I mean, it's been a long process, and here we are. So tell us about what happened today. Today was the first day we did the idea of something wicked on the big system, the 15 barrel brew house right here. As the Brewers Association say, it's small, independent, it's traditional, but I think that's changing. Mass down a little bit, getting ready to drop the first water and the first grain here in about two or three minutes. Very good. So, just let a little hot water go out, warm up the metal in there a little bit so we uh, can hit our mass temperature. And as we continue to grow, you know, we've moved the needle on what small means. The idea is that once you've gone craft, there's no going back. And once you've had better, you can't go back. We have the ability as smaller breweries to be able to change on the fly, to come up and innovate and try new things on a smaller scale that the big guys, frankly, could not afford to do on the scale that they do it. So, I don't know what to do at this point. Yeah, we don't know what to do. Well, I guess I gotta mash it in half of it and try to keep the mill up with the mashing in process and see what happens. So that as it's going down, this is adding to it. Yeah, let's just see what we can do. Okay. Yeah, that's all we can do right now. All right, I guess that's all we can do right now. Yeah. Oh boy. Who, who's that? Uh, it's a manufacturer for a brew house guy, Hospero. Um, What's the problem? Uh, the grist case that we got uh, it can only be so big. It can only fit so much on top of that vessel, or else the vessel wouldn't be able to hold the weight. It's supposed to be fit 800 pounds, which should be fine for starters. Um, but we've got 650 and the thing is completely full, which means we're going to have to start mashing in with what we've got uh, and then start the mill back up and try to keep up with it and hope the mill can, can keep up with the rate that we're mashing in the grain. So it's. Um, be a challenge, be fun. All just, you know, bar for course, figuring out how to make the thing work. <laughs> okay, Rob, go ahead and start milling again. So in our case, we can diversify, keep trying different styles, put a new twist on it, maybe a different yeast strain, a different malt, a different hop, etc. So things are continuing to innovate at the craft level, and that's part of what makes us us. Craft is really an attention to detail, doing things by hand, the hard way. This is not easy. This is deep, sweaty work. Doesn't matter whether you have been in it forever or you've been in it for a little bit of time, it ain't an easy gig. There's a lot of work that goes into these beers. You pour your heart into it. Their heart and soul is in this little glass. Yep. Craft beer is made by somebody who's passionate about what they're doing, and they care about what they're doing. So basically, uh, we mashed in, we had, gave it about a 40 minute rest with a 20 minute uh, recirc. 
Now we're sparging on top of the grain bed and running off uh, the wort to the kettle, which we've actually first wort hopped already. Um, so we're waiting to fill the kettle and then uh, get everything up to boil and start adding all those buckets of hops you guys see sitting out there that we've weighed up. So that's where we are so far. the proverbial cookie cutter in the brewery and just making a style. They're putting care into the style. They're selecting the hops the proper way. Now you're good. Stop. Okay? Go ahead and stand inside your hand. Putting a lot of love just into that brew day. Remember, you're always going to lose about a barrel and a half. It's just not an 8 to 10 hour day that I'm muddling through. It's something that they're actually putting their fingerprint on. Okay. That valve right above your head, can you go ahead and open that one? Yep. Alright. It's all you win. I'm gonna turn it on. Alright, go ahead. You want me to just open up your mouth? and showing people what they can do and when they come up with different ideas, things that'll work. Maybe, maybe they won't work, maybe they will work, you know, but willing to be able to take that chance to be able to make something that's gonna be spectacular in front of the guest. This thing's seriously about to pop. What is it? This heat break. Okay, we're at 66. You guys can go ahead and pitch that heat when you're ready. I'm assuming we want to polish it and take the side off. All the stuff that's caked onto the side, you want off. Yes. Here's some sanitizer. No wine sanitizer. When you guys open the door, Rob, go ahead and open the door. As soon as he opens the door, crack your thing, dump it in, grab the next one, do it, and shut the door. Craft is about community. It's not just keeping it small because eventually we're going to grow. I feel positive pressure coming out of you, Rob. It's about the way that you do things, and it's about being in charge of your company, being independent. Doing it your way. Sinatra said it all the time, my way. Exactly. Now open it up once you're inside the door this time. This is what we love to do. This is what we want to do for the rest of our days. I want my son to be able to step in and work here. Got it. I want this to continue to be a contributing part of the Sacramento community. It creates jobs, creates a draw for the area, and this is something that people are proud of. Well, thanks. Cheers. Real thing. Take a chance.